day two. Why are we still here? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hoi 4 A to Z. The series where the series where the series where the series the series the series the, 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 the Would you like to know a secret? Look, he's pointing at the subscribe button. <laughs> Good luck, Braun. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to day two out of seven of Mind Break, because we're only halfway through right now. These four terrible nations on screen right here isn't that fad. Oh, man, just look at all these interesting nations you can play in Hoi 4, and then look at these slightly less, but still very interesting nations down here you could play. I wonder which one we'll be playing today. That's right, it's El Salvador. El Salvador. I don't want to be here. At all. Alright, maybe I'm being a little bit unfair, as El Salvador does have a whole bunch of population, that's pretty cool. Look, they've got a... A resource, and hey, we do start with a, uh, aggressive government, per se. Although I'm not too sure how historically accurate that title might be for it. Oh, I could just join a faction. You know, I actually had a dream about playing El Salvador, and what the strat would be. But in my dream, I did also have like 500 factories. And I think I went outside halfway through. Maybe I, maybe I could do something interesting here. Maybe I joined the Germans early and start a war and somehow win. What's that division, Tim? Oh, that explains why El Salvador always spams out like 50 infantry divisions because they can afford to. You know, I left play a peace conference on. I got a dastardly idea of joining Japan's faction <laughs> and stealing all of China off them, but I'm, I'm not even sure if I have, because I turned all the mods off after uh, last episode. Let's just not mention that again, though. All right, if I get a general here and it's El Generico, I all death for the game. Okay, you're very lucky that this man's mustache shaved you, game. I think Paradox once said that they want everyone in the game to have a focus tree. Or maybe that's just wishful thinking. I made that up in some sort of coping mechanism. <laughs> oh yeah, I could just justify from the start, can't I? I might as well do this, why not? 240 days to maybe take out these guys. Come on, Guatemala, you gonna stand against the mighty El Salvadorian army? Oh my god, look. I am the AI. <laughs> look at that. The El Salvadorian industry, it, it's, it's roaring like a mighty lion with asthma and chronic fatigue. Yeah, it's more of a wheeze, but we're, look, we are technically building artillery. I mean, I guess if you were technically going to play any of these nations to form Central America, um, you, you'd do it with El Salvador, because you can do it just from the start. But still, why would you ever play here? God, time flies when you're having fun. My, my justification is actually ready. Well, I'm just gonna start this one, because I'll be done with this in seconds. Or they will be done with me in seconds, and I'll be free from this pain. They're also just gonna force attack across, because the AI is half strength. I think they may have just upgraded their infantry bar looks of things. Isn't this just fun, riveting gameplay as we sit here? There's maybe like 10. 50 people die every few seconds because our armies are that small. This is just a street riot at this point. There's no artillery here. No planes, no tactics, don't even have a doctrine. <laughs> We're just slapping each other in the street. There you go, look. One down. Couple, couple more to go. Why do we actually have an armor guy? Who taught you how to do a tank, Hector? Alright, well, round two. Sure, this will go just as well as the other one did. Oh, yeah, actually having artillery in our unit is uh, making this a lot easier. Two miles will go straight for the next one as well. Also, yes, I know, guys. Everyone keeps telling me that Honduras has a very good focus tree in Road to 56, so uh, I won't do it just because you... I'm kidding. I know. I will take any opportunity not to play this same nation for the 20 billionth time. I'm actually going to hold out on killing them here just so I can milk them for war propaganda because as you can see the people of El Salvador not too interesting in fighting. There you go, that got us 15% not too bad I'll take it. Yeah this is a lot quicker and less painful than Costa Rica and speaking of which they're next upon the chopping block and then once we click the funny button we'll come over here hopefully and uh, join <laughs> our rightful place in the world with Mr. Hirohito. You know what maybe I could take out Mexico. 
Maybe. We have a lot of guns. I think if we go straight to 20 with, we could potentially do something. Maybe. Because it's gonna be the uh, Mexico Trollface Division. Mm, there we go. This should, uh. <laughs> And let us be done with this wild El Salvadorian ride, and Costa Rica doesn't even have an army. And boom! Funny button! Alright, and with our newfound manpower, we'll get the problemas out. And there we go, we're only missing some anti-air, so for now, I'll just whack that over there, and we should be good. I think we might be able to take Mexico, I think. Uh, we're gonna do a bit of trolling with uh, world tension, just went ahead and justified on the British, so we can do our war propaganda, that gets the world tension up quite high, and then we cancel it, and pretend like nothing ever happened. We can still do this before... Uh, America gets their grubby little hands on Mexico, and now we just wait a second. They got no intelligence on them, but they should have quite a few troops. But I think we might have better ones. Oh. Yes, Japan. <laughs> I will take my spot as the honorary Japanese member. All right, this this is going to be way more expensive than I thought it might be. <laughs> They've got so many troops. <laughs> There's so many of them. Right, we do have five of them pocketed, but there's a few more on the way. Uh, but I have also lost all of my equipment. And yes, I was trying to build mechanized. I thought like that might have been a good idea. Turn into a terrible one now. Here we go. I'm trying to uh, trying to bait the Mexicans into actually grinding against my troops, considering they do way better defensively than they do aggressively. And I also have ran out of actual pushing power. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's that's doing very nicely, my friend. Oh yeah, I I was not paying attention to that one. They just took that back. Hold on. Oh, actually, that's kind of a good idea. If we pull them back to this river line, that's gonna be a lot more casualties for them. So I'm just gonna pull back a bit. Mexico. You are under arrest! Come out with your hands up! If you're wondering what this costs me... Everything. Now, I was hoping to take Mexico's equipment, but uh, we literally just killed each other. Alright, well... Yeah, Mexico's a puppet now. That wasn't even the main plan. <laughs> we were gonna go mess with China. That was worth it. I've got nothing left. Right, I have deleted the army. I could not afford them, and instead we are going to respec into something better. All right, come on, boys, what's left of you? You're going to China. Ah, this is gonna take a while. I really hope I have player led peace comes on. I know it's just straight up cheating, but there's just nothing left for me to do. Sorry, boys, the special forces have arrived. Problem. Definitely emphasis on the special part. Uh, what is Mexico? Got guns from Uruguay here. Whatever. You're going to the front, Mexico. Oh my god. Okay, two of my little crappy tanks are done. These aren't 40 whiff or meta. They're just little 20 whiffs, but hopefully they still will do good against unarmed Chinese peasants. Now we just have to wait as they slowly make their way across the Pacific. Uh, preferably before Japan gets their ass handed to them. Alright, tanks are here. They're fully equipped. They're not fully trained, but I don't think that's gonna matter too much here. Let's just, uh, see how they do. They're doing great. Alright, we're just gonna focus on going pocket by pocket here. These guys have punching power, but not enough to just roll over the Chinese. Although I say that as they do just roll over the Chinese. Oh god, I am I am having to hold this whole front together right now. Japan is eating the rock! Oh, screw the south, we're gonna go hold up here and hopefully try and relieve some pre- There's, there's literally like no units, how are you losing this <laughs> Japan? Well... I'll do it myself. I wish I had way more infantry to actually hold this all, but this is gonna have to do. Yeah, it's the best we got. And look at that. They all laughed at a uh, little Escobar down here. Hector, the man, the myth, <laughs> the armor division attack expert. I hate the fact I am single-handedly carrying this war from Hector's big balls. Hector and Jorge, they're, they're both doing a very good job here. It looks like we are actually helping, because they are pushing back over here, and uh, this does not look like a steady front though. If I had more infantry, this would be a lot easier, right? We have almost actually done this, okay? 
It, and I, I'm not just memeing when I say that we have held this front together. If it was not for me and my medium tanks, this war would be straight up over. And I don't even think I can build them that great anymore. Because everyone doesn't want to trade with us. So, <laughs> it, yeah, it's, uh, it's rough over here. Oh, actually, how many casualties have we caused? 601,000. I actually thought it would be a bit higher than that. But still, I think I deserve more than 11% war participation. Oh, just, um... Gonna get my uh, my kill count up a bit more. Oh, I think if I get a few more encirclements, I may be able to uh, deploy my predator drone. Cute joke about Minecraft YouTuber. I mean, come on. I, I am literally just rolling over everyone here. Come on. I deserve more than... 13%! Every time I take a victory point, Japan usually you loses one, and then we're almost back to where we started. Will this be enough to capitulate them, please? Please, end the war. I, I'm kind of done now. I, I just want to be... I want to go home. It's never enough. It's never enough. Oh my god, it's so close, but it's so far. It's just all mountains and rivers. It takes my tanks way too long. We, we gotta we gotta take a different approach here. Oh my god, it's it's over. And I left play... Yeah. All right, I will be taking my fair share in this war. Don't you worry, Mr. Hirohito. I think after what I did, that that is more than fair. Uh, it is also really cursed to look at now that I'm now that I'm actually looking at it. Uh, I haven't been paying attention to Europe, but that's a big Bulgaria, and there's a uh, a lot of D days happening. But what's this? <laughs> Japan's requesting garrison support off me. No! I mean, I've got a million manpower, but so should you. How much do you have? You guys literally have five million. And you're trying to skive off me. So what the hell do I do now? I kind of just want to go back to Central America and go to bed. I mean, I kind of feel like um, we've done everything here. You know what? I'll go kill Germany. Sorry, Japan. Um, I I know uh, he kind of would be on our side, but he's losing terribly. I also need to get on America's good side so they sell me resources to build my tanks with. All right. See you guys in 500 years. Oh, well, I was tabbing out to um, wash paint dry, and I guess we're back on track. All right, I have upgraded our tank divisions now to 40 with. We can only really afford three of them, but hopefully they do the job. Oh, also, why is it as soon as um, we I do all the work in China, you're now capitulating everyone, Japan? Could you not take some of this initiative five minutes ago? You know, I'm, I'm going to take out my frustrations on the Italians. <laughs> Actually, can I leave Japan's faction and join a um, you guys don't like me at all, do you? Oh, no, now Japan doesn't like me, but that's fine. I'm not your friend anymore. Oh, wait. There you go. Britain changed their mind. I'm in! It's kind of like the Canada game, except not fun. Me, me and America are natural allies, considering it's all of their resources that we use to build this entire army anyway. Oh, well, I was doing all right. Then I just got kicked from the faction. <laughs> Great! I, I'm, I'm not falling for that one again, Mr. Churchill. You got me once, you're not gonna get me again. A lot of people doubted us, but... They're still probably just confused, mostly, why we're even in this part of the field. I'm just here to make great deals, get America on my side, buy their resources, build more tanks, and potentially plunder the Germans for everything they're worth. Alright boys, I'll meet you in Berlin! Oh my god, I'm actually getting in quite deep here. Oh my god, come on, can we do it? We can definitely do this. That's right, let me in, Germany. I'm going to huff and puff and blow that. Is that a nuclear reactor down? Oh, it's a good thing I turned up when I did, because that could have gone very badly. Oh, uh, this doesn't look too secure, though. <laughs> uh oh. Well, uh, nothing better to uh, enjoy some Hoi 4 than just right-clicking tanks around the map <laughs> and winning. Oh, I am done. You know what? <laughs> I'm just going to click on all the iron provinces. <laughs> I can't even afford that. There you go. Just click on the iron provinces and <laughs> click done. <laughs>
<laughs> we do a little, uh, we do a little trolling. So there you go. If you guys want to start another war, you can. I'm just gonna look after the iron. Uh, the Central American demilitarized zone right here. If, if you, you can't share Alsace Lorraine or figure out between you, I'm just gonna have to take it myself, okay? Uh, but yeah, we're done. Day two of the madness is over. El Salvador is gone. I hope to never return here. And I hope you leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> See you tomorrow.